510, a live look there high above Monument Circle uh, in the dark this morning, but the lights are up. They're just not on. But believe it or not, in a little more than a week, the hustle and bustle of some 100,000 people will fill the circle. And the Circle of Light celebration comes with some big changes this year. Our Matt McCutcheon is live to tell us what exactly new we'll see. Good morning. Good morning, Ben and Julia. Eight days away until the Circle of Light celebration. I'm already in a little bit of trouble this morning. First of all, I have two items that are not allowed this year. That includes the chair right here, as well as a cooler. These two things are prohibited to be brought here downtown. Here's a look at some of the other items you have to leave at home this year. That also includes things like weapons, as well as bicycles and animals, except for service animals. Those will be allowed. Those are just some of the changes. The other actually comes to the area the performances will take place. The stage is being moved from the monument itself and is instead being moved over to Meridian Street right between the Columbia Club and Salesforce side and Anthem on the other side. That's where the stage and performances will be and the other areas will instead be used for you to walk into Monument Circle. Now coming up here in our next hour of Sunrise, we're going to talk more about the role Indigo buses will actually play this year in keeping you safe. That may sound a little surprising. We're going to break that down for you. We're also going to talk live to the Chief of Police. He's going to join us here on Sunrise coming up in our 6 o'clock hour to talk more about these changes all designed to keep you and your family safe. Of course, if you're really wanting to sit down in a chair just like this, your best bet is to stay at home and watch it live only on WTHR when those lights are flipped on right behind me, Ben and Julia, and all 4,000 new LED bulbs will be turned on for the very first time. All right, the most comfortable reporter of the morning. We like well, it. <laughs> and he shouldn't be allowed because, Matt, the chairs aren't allowed, buddy. So, unfortunately, that's it. It's got to go, okay? you got to stand up for the next You've got live 10 shot. more days, yeah. anyway. All right. Matt, thank you very much. And, by the way, of course, we're getting excited, as you know, Julia, for Circle of Lights. Next Tuesday, please watch Indiana's Got Talent at 7 p.m. to find out who will be performing on the big stage. Then, of course, come down and join us. Friday after Thanksgiving, John, Andrea, Angela, myself, and of course Chuck, who's going to be the MC. You can't miss this. You have to come. You can watch uh, there in person starting at six o'clock, but then live on television starting at seven. Going to be a big night. We love it. It's always so, kind of a family oh, tradition. Yeah. So it's so much fun. It. Yeah.